Think of the dumbest weapon you can think of, and Got I it. guarantee there's a real one that's even dumber. A Macaulay Culkin based laser disc bomb. Yeah, we can beat that. Okay. Hey everyone, Anthony and Trace here. Thanks for tuning in to D News. You know, warfare is dark and dirty mm -hmm. and awful, except when it is just silly. A newly digitized German book from the 1500s caught the attention of a researcher at the University of Pennsylvania, which looks like, yep, it looks like a rocket-propelled cat is in that book. <laughs> Did this German prince depict a 16th century rocket animal? No, no, not at all. According to Mitch Fraz, it is not a rocket at all. It is a slow-burning cat bomb. That if makes soldiers sense. could steal the animal from its home, you see, and put the bomb on its back, the cat would then go back home, taking the bomb this is a terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah, and there are so, so many more. <laughs> <laughs> like during World War II when the Russians used dog bombs against the Germans using classical Pavlovian conditioning. The Russians trained dogs to believe that food was hiding under tanks. Okay. This meant that the dog would run toward the tank with reckless abandon looking for a tasty treat. And then Russians figured if you strapped a bomb to it, sure. mm, there you go, it would carry that payload and boom, successful dog bombing. But the Russian trainers made a few mistakes. Number one, dogs don't like battlefields. Not really. That's not a thing. No. And number two, German tanks actually don't smell like Russian tanks. So the dogs would take their bombs and run either back to their trainers not or good. to a Russian tank or into a cat bomb that they passed <laughs> along the way, I guess. They'd chase each other around. Yeah. Over good. hundreds of years, <laughs> natural enemies. And I'd like to point out, by the way, though, that in that scenario, the dogs actually did their jobs. They were good dogs, they blew up the tanks. Satisfactory performance right. dogs. Aside from German cats and Russian dogs, human warfare geniuses in the US as well have tried to militarize some animals like bats. Right, like bat bombs that were detonated once daylight came and the bats had found shelter and were sleeping. That's a terrible idea. And then the British tried dead rats filled with plastic explosives because they figured the Russians would shovel them into their furnaces along with, you know, the coal, so. God, we're so dumb. We are so dumb that there are tons of examples of these poorly conceived military ideas. In World War II, weapons were being created left and right to try and stem the tide of war. Mm -hmm. And apparently, pretty much anything that had a slight chance of bringing the war to a close was worth funding. But you know what? The modern military still has some crazy floating around in it too, like, I don't know, the gay bomb. Oh yeah, the gay bomb. This was actually a really, a really weird thing. Military researchers in the 1970s experimented with a non-lethal weapon which, when set off, released massive amounts of female pheromones. All of that sexiness was supposed to overwhelm the soldiers, and they would be too distracted by each other's hotness to fight. So female pheromones were supposed to make heterosexual males attracted to other, no, yeah. no, no, that's not how humans work. But let's be clear, the dumbest of all the dumb weapons is probably a nuclear one. Just I in general. War games. Yeah. yeah. For sure. This is the M29 Davy Crockett weapon system. It's a nuclear mortar. It's stupid for a bunch of reasons. It actually would have worked, but it would have put nuclear weapons into the hands of three soldiers in the middle of a battlefield in the middle of a war. Not to mention, you know, the escalation of the casual use of nuclear weapons. That's no big deal, right? Luckily, these were never put into play. So it's kind of like the top secret A119 plan, also nuclear. It was a plan to launch a nuke at the moon. Just for, you know, just for funsies. Once the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, Americans felt like they were late to the space party. So to boost morale here in the US, the Air Force wrote A119, which basically said, if we could nuke the moon before they get there, we will be the most awesome. What is your favorite stupid weapon out there? Because there are, as we've said, a lot of them. Tell us yours on Facebook or Google+. And if you like this video, why don't you go ahead and just, you know, share it with your friends. Thanks a lot for watching D News, everybody.